space station flew over southeastern Algeria. Now flying into an orbital sunrise. Kind of hard to tell. So. You can see the Soyuz backing away ever so slowly at the uh, almost at the middle of your picture here. On the left is the Poisk module that will be the eventual destination for the MS-13 vehicle a short time from now. Uh, yes, that's our aid command. Uh, aid command, AGC mode uh, has done the trick. The docking interface is clear of any pod. Uh, let's go to Rodaka. L1, activating stabilization. Luca, can you confirm uh, we're in Rodaka mode? Yep. We're in digital. Copy. Rodaka mode confirmed. And activating translation of hand controller. Alexander Skvortsov, Luca Parmitano, and Drew Morgan getting a bonus ride on their Soyuz MS-13 spacecraft as it slowly backs away from the aft port of the Zvezda service module. And I'm uh, going to get the target in the center. Skvortsov is at the control doing the manual flying of Soyuz. What's your visual on the station? Have a great visual on uh, the station. The uh, docking interface is clear of any FOD, looks very good. Continuing separating from the station. Everything looks good and nominal. Copy. The range is about 9 meters. Copy, Alexander. That uh, circular uh, dish antenna that you see in the middle of your picture at the aft end of the Zvezda service module is the Lyra antenna. That is their high gain, uh, high data rate uh, communications antenna that processes television from the Russian segment as well as uh, voice and uh, other high data rate uh, telemetry. The Soyuz uh, slowly backing away from uh, the aft port of Zvezda that tomorrow night, Monday night, will be the port of call for the unpiloted Soyuz MS-14 spacecraft. We're in the approach quarter. Everything is looking good. And it seems like the um, sun is uh, about to um, rise because um, it looks like um, the station is uh, getting lit by the rising sun. Current range is about 20 meters. Copy, Alexander. 20 meters. Again, uh, Skvartsov will back uh, the Soyuz MS-13 away to a distance of about 38 meters or so before uh, he puts the brakes on for a period of station keeping. And uh, he'll command a slight roll program to put the Soyuz in the correct orientation before beginning his brief fly around to reposition the Soyuz uh, to uh, a 38 meter distance away from the Poisk module that you see on the far left of your screen. Range is 25 meters, Moscow. Copy, Alexander, 25 meters. This uh, relocation maneuver coming almost four years to the day from the last time a uh, station crew executed such a maneuver, Gennady Padalka, Mikhail Kornienko, and Scott Kelly maneuvering their Soyuz TMA-16M spacecraft in the opposite direction, away from Poisk, for a relocation to Zvezda. Copy, current range 30 meters.
This view now from uh, Soyuz MS-13 telemetry, looking right down the barrel of the uh, Zvezda service module docking port. Copy that, Alexander. Station keeping. Copy. And the brakes are on. Station keeping has begun. Station keeping confirmed. Rule maneuver in progress. I have a very good uh, visual on MRM2. And uh, the current range is about 30 meters. Copy. Alexander squirts off uh, with very gentle inputs in the hand controller in the descent module in the Soyuz commander seat, the center seat of the descent module, flanked on his left by Luca Parmitano of the European Space Agency and on his right by NASA's Drew Morgan. Uh, what would you uh, say the current range is, Alexander? I'd say about 32 meters or thereabouts. Copy. Squirts off in the final stages of executing the roll maneuver that will put the Soyuz in the correct orientation to begin his fly around and repositioning of the uh, MS-13 uh, above the Poisk module that you see on the left side of your screen. The International Space Station crossing the Black Sea. Everything proceeding well with this relocation maneuver that will ultimately uh, result in Monday night's uh, return of the unpiloted MS-14 Soyuz vehicle for a docking to that aft port of Zvezda. The range is about 31 to 32 meters. Um, have a good visual on the, the station. I have about 10 more degrees in the roll maneuver left to go. Copy. Standing by for probe extension. Copy. Skvorts off about uh, to send the command to extend the docking probe on the forward end of the Soyuz vehicle. In the meantime, uh, Russian flight controllers have sent the commands to activate the docking mechanism on the Poisk module. Roll maneuver is complete, and we are ready to uh, start probe extension. Copy. Probe extension command has been sent, range is 32 meters, and I'm starting to fly around. Copy. Oh, 
I have a great uh, stable visual of the target. Everything's nominal. I copy that, Alexander. Thank you. Spectacular view of the Soyuz MS-13 beginning its fly around under the control of uh, Alexander Skvortsov, the Soyuz commander. We're in a uh, handover of satellites on our tracking and data relay satellite system. We'll reacquire the downlink video from uh, the station momentarily. Everything proceeding uh, in good fashion with uh, this relocation of the Soyuz uh, from Zvezda to Poisk, opening up the aft port of Zvezda for the return of the unpiloted Soyuz MS-14 Monday night. Uh, starting to get the um, backdrop of Earth in the... Um, Periscope. This view uh, over Russian ground stations uh, showing uh, the view from the Soyuz spacecraft as it uh, has initiated the fly around under the control of Alexander Skvortsov. Now a view uh, from a camera on the truss of the International Space Station showing the Soyuz vehicle, its thrusters firing. This is all uh, under the manual control of Skvortsov, a veteran Russian cosmonaut in his third flight into space. The International Space Station, uh, the Soyuz MS-13 flying free for the next several minutes soon to, uh, to pass directly over the capital of Kazakhstan, Astana. The uh, Soyuz uh, MS-13 that you see in the field of view, its docking probe now fully extended. Once uh, the Soyuz redocks uh, to the Poisk module, uh, there will be a brief period uh, where relative motion between the Soyuz and the International Space Station uh, will be allowed to dampen out before that docking probe is retracted to basically pull the Soyuz in for a hard dock, hard mate uh, to the Poisk docking port itself. That will initiate uh, the closing of the hooks uh, on the Soyuz side. Uh, that will be the precursor and, uh, to about two orbits or three hours worth of leak checks yeah. to make sure we have an airtight seal between Soyuz and Poisk before Skvortsov, Parmitano, and Morgan reopen the hatch to the International Space Station and return uh, to the station itself.
Дальность также сохраняется 35 метров. Оборот по тангажу практически закончен, осталось немного. A Sunday drive uh, for Skvartsov, Parmitano and Morgan as they are in the process of repositioning the Soyuz away from the Zvezda service modules aft port. Skvartsov manually flying the uh, Soyuz MS-13 to a position about uh, 38 meters directly above the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Russian segment where he will stop once again uh, for a brief period of station keeping and a repositioning, a reorientation of the solar arrays through a roll maneuver before pressing in for final approach and docking. Uh, going um, along the longitudinal axis of the service module. Clap in, we're watching. I have an excellent visual on the station. Copy, Alexander. And this view uh, showing the crosshaired engineering camera on the Soyuz MS-13, uh, almost in the center of the crosshairs, the docking port on the Poisk module. Skvartsov reporting a good visual on uh, the docking port itself to Poisk as he fine-tunes uh, the orientation of the Soyuz. There'll be another period of uh, station keeping here momentarily before he presses in for final approach and docking. We have five command in work. Zero six fifty three twenty two. We have five command has been sent. Range is uh, thirty two meters. And we're starti starting the um, final approach, accelerating towards the station. Copy that, Alexander. With all of the uh, Soyuz systems in good shape, the docking probe that you see at uh, the forward end of the bulbous portion of the uh, Soyuz, uh, that's the orbital module, the basically the top portion of the Soyuz itself. The crew is in the center section of the Soyuz in the descent module, Parma, uh, Skvartsov, Parmitano, and Morgan. The aft uh, end of the Soyuz, uh, that's the white section with the solar arrays, that's the instrumentation and propulsion module. Final approach initiated by Skvartsov, everything uh, looking good. What is the current range, please? 25 meters. 25 meters. Even. Copy. I have a great visual on the docking target. And the overlay size where wise matches uh, the distance on display. Copy. Range is 18 meters, 1-8. Selecting THC pulse mode. And that's complete. Switch to pulse mode on the translational hand controller.
260 miles over Mongolia, the Soyuz about uh, 13 meters away from its new port of call, the Poisk module, under the command of Soyuz uh, Commander Alexander Skvortsov. We're in the home stretch of this relocation activity. Target is at the center. Crosshairs are still aligned. Everything's nominal. At the time of contact and capture, uh, a few moments from now, the Soyuz will be traveling about one tenth of a meter per second. The range is about nine meters, um, which is um, one and a half squares on the overlay. Copy. Two squares on the overlay. Six meter range. Copy. Skvortsov, Parmitano, and Morgan almost home to complete this relocation maneuver. About five meters now separating the two vehicles. Getting ready for station keeping. Copy. Station keeping confirmed. Copy. Pressers are aligned. The target is uh, practically dead in the center. One more opportunity for station keeping uh, to make sure that we have a uh, precise alignment between uh, the Soyuz and Poisk at the bottom of your screen. Skvortsov will reinitiate the final approach uh, for docking a moment or two from now. Copy. And now pressing in again. Closing in. Copy. Standing by for contact. Standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Standing by for contact, Moscow. We copy. Standing by, Alexander. Contact. Contact confirmed. And capture confirmed. Docking right on time at 10.59 p.m. Central Time, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time, as the International Space Station and the Soyuz MS-13 flew just to the east of Beijing. The relocation successful under the control of Soyuz Commander Alexander Skvortsov, a new docking port now for one of the two Soyuzes at the International Space Station. Translational can controller, V-8 command, in work. And, and the docking probe has now begun to retract. E-18 command. Sent. And L-2. At the time of docking, uh, the unpiloted Soyuz MS-14 was about 165 miles behind the International Space Station, executing its own program of uh, pre-planned maneuvers to return to the International Space Station Monday night for a automated docking to the aft port of the uh, uh, Zvezda service module that you see uh, in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Check D9, Luca. 
So a 24 minute maneuver to uh, change uh, parking places at the International Space Station for Alexander Skvortsov, Luca Parmitano, and NASA's Drew Morgan all went uh, as planned. The Soyuz MS-13 now at the Poisk module, setting the stage for tomorrow night's return to the station by the MS-14. And uh, propellant 476. Once again, a docking occurring at 10.59 p.m. Central Time, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time, as uh, the Soyuz and the International Space Station flew 260 miles to the east of Beijing. And the hooks are now driving uh, to form a hard mate between Soyuz and Poisk. R7, come in, has been sent and executed. AGC mode disabled, and uh, we're going to turn off the spotlight. That's complete mode. Spotlight is off. Copy. At 07 GMT, pressure and descent module is 767. 767, copy. And the orbital module, stand by. Pressure in the orbital module is 763. And in the instrumentation compartment? Yes. Uh, 733. 733, copy. 733, copy. And you closed the RPV-1 valve. I'm sorry, that was 833 in the instrumentation compartment. Copy. Is RPV-1 closed, Alexander? RPV-1 valve? Yes, it is. Copy. Let's continue on page uh, 87 and um, finish uh, probe retraction. Copy. And we're monitoring probe retraction. Electrical connector are mated, uh, is eliminated, D-17 is not eliminated. Any by for D-15 parameter to be eliminated. Hooks closed. Copy. Any by. Continuing uh, monitoring probe retraction. As we stand by for confirmation of the uh, closing of the hooks on the uh, Soyuz side of the docking interface with the Poisk module. No longer on display. And we now have confirmation that the hooks are closed. So we have a hard mate between the relocated Soyuz MS-13 spacecraft. And uh, the Poisk module, to which uh, the Soyuz flew a short distance around, uh, undocking from the Zvezda service module to reposition uh, the Soyuz vehicle to Poisk, opening up the aft port of Zvezda for the return to the station Monday night of the unpiloted Soyuz MS-14 spacecraft in the next phase of its test flight for use for future crews uh, beginning next spring.
the uh, crew on board the, the MS-13 spacecraft. You see its new uh, home uh, in this uh, updated graphic of the uh, current vehicles at the International Space Station.